Hi everybody, Paul here. Earlier today, Chris Brogan put on his post uh, different ways he sees media uh, going in the future and he lists seven trends that he sees happening and those are actually very relevant and very true. I see those as well, but I'd like to add uh, four more that I think are ultimately going to uh, bring this ecosystem even uh, closer together and, and, and make greater things happen. The first thing is that we're going to start to see a lot of connectivity among devices with media. For example, if you're sitting at home and decide you want to buy something, you can call it up on your mobile phone and you can take that into a retail space and the, the media connects itself to help move you toward that purchase. Or if you go to a museum, if you see a beautiful piece of art, you can look at it on your phone and then take it into a museum to actually see the art itself or to learn more about it. With that said, I think that we're also going to see devices become much more independent because I don't believe people are automatically going to want to use every single channel available. You're going to see uh, uh, channels that leverage media from other channels but ultimately can manage on their own. So if I go into a store or a museum or a restaurant or a bookstore and I want to uh, use just the touch screen, that that should be able to afford me every single uh, uh, opportunity that I want uh, with that experience. Now it'll leverage uh, media from other channels, but it'll also work independently. It has that capability. I also believe that we're going to see a lot of what I call non-linear storytelling. And by that I mean that every single person r reads at their own pace. And every single person uh, uh, bounces around through different steps of their lives and their experiences. And this non-linear storytelling is going to uh, enable people to move at their pace, learn at their pace, and experience things on their own level because these levels of engagement will be developed. So if you take steps one, two, three, four, and five, uh, and she may take one, five, six, nine, and ten, it doesn't matter because it's, it's a much more um, a connected story as the user chooses it. There will be a greater kit of parts, a greater series of elements that help that experience. And finally, one more thing. I think we're going to see media become much, much more shareable. I think we're going to see uh, people who will not just have experiences but create experiences and share that with other people. Whether it's video, blogs, text, uh, things like that. They'll take that out of an environment or a venue or an experience and they'll be able to share it. Could be a music, could be a movie trailer, could be a movie clip, could be things that people want to show others because ultimately the greater the experience, the more people are willing to share stories about it. And media is going to be a vehicle through which those experiences uh, are created and hopefully uh, are, are done very well. So, those are some of my thoughts about uh, media. If you'd like, you can take a look at Chris's uh, uh, video below or uh, drop a comment. I'd love to see what you think. Thanks.